आचार्य जी नमस्ते सो इट इज़ अ वेरी डीप टॉपिक यूज यू टॉक नाउ सो हाउ बुद्ध मैन इज विदाउट आत्मा एंड ईश्वरा ही डोंट मैंसन दीज थिंग्स एंड कैन यू लिटल विट एक्सप्लेन और फाइंड दिस लिंक हाउ बुद्ध मैन इज ऑल दोज थिंग्स विदाउट टॉकिंग अबाउट सोल और गॉड in his philosophy these things are not mentioned anywhere you mean the historical buddha ha historical gautama di buddha hmm. so what do you want to know about him he just talk void that you are saying when we look inside there is a void but he never mention soul or god or those kind of spiritual uh fantasy mm-hmm. there is no need yeah so uh, yes there is no need the way of gautam buddh was absolutely the way of negation he said that which you are calling as the self or atman is actually not the self it is your mere imagination so he talked the language of anatma he said that which you think of as atma is anatma that which you talk of as atma is an atma the moment you say atma it has turned into an atma then does atma exist better not talk about it the moment you talk about it you will be rendering it false that was his way and isn't this way quite beautiful and obviously authentic what does atma mean atma means me it's me whatsoever you call as the self whatsoever you decorate with meanness sooner than later becomes your trouble it does not last the association is incidental so he would just look at our sense of i and say is there anything that you call as the i that you associate with the i that is really meaningful really trustworthy haven't you seen time take away even your most dependable identities and relationships is there anything that you identify with or own or call as your own that does not live in the shadow of doubt that you do not suspect to betray you at some point or the other if you were to be told x or y or z has betrayed you does there exist even a single x or y or z that you would refuse absolutely refuse to believe as the betrayer maybe you will have reluctance accepting that the betrayal the disappointment has come from such a trusted one but then the betrayal is not impossible and if it is not impossible then you cannot be at rest you would forever be suspicious and afraid that was the way of gautam buddh he would not give you another fantastic palace of dreams he would say you already have too many fantasies you already are living in an infinite number of dreams you already carry so much self certified knowledge i do not want to give you anything more 
I just want you to see that that which you are already carrying, already possessing, is not allowing you to live freely. There is no problem that you have except that which you have. That was his way. Yes, so where the difference, Vedanta and Buddha, which point exactly? Yeah. The aham of Vedant is the anatma of Buddha. That's the only difference. Words. What Vedant calls as aham, Buddha calls as anatma. What Vedant calls as Atma, Buddha remains silent about it. And Iswara, Sunyata, Buddha say Iswara of no, no. When I say Buddha remains silent about Atma, hmm, that silence corresponds to Shunyata. Ishwar and all Buddha had no interest in. Even Vedanta has no interest in all these things. If you go to Acharya Shankar, he will say, as long as the Jeev takes himself to be truth, an Ishwar becomes necessary for him. But an Ishwar holds any value, any sanctity only as long as the Jeev takes himself as true. So just as Brahm is the counterpart of Atma, Ishwar is the counterpart of Jeev. Till you take yourself as the person, as the Jeev, there will exist an Ishwar for you. That Ishwar will remain necessary for you. But when you start taking yourself as Atma, then Ishwar is gone. Then only Atma remains and the other name of Atma is Brahm. I am Atma, I am Brahm. And Maya of Vedanta in Buddhism become what? Maya? Maya does exist in Buddhism as well, though in other names. So, Buddha does talk about all that deludes you in quite detail. Hmm? 